Hi guys, welcome back to another HIO free to play walkthrough. Today we have Treasure of the Dam. And I've just been listening to this play uh, Master of Puppets in the bed version for a bit. <laughs> so I'm playing the actual game. But the creator said something about wanting to hear feedback, so I'm gonna definitely give it a try. And try to be honest and try not to be a dick. But you know. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to try it for yourself. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Hopefully you can't hear my fan in the background, I got a fan. I'm upgrading. Um, but yeah, let's check this bad boy out. I love the music though. Hopefully I don't get copyright struck, but... I'm here. Oh, that is a weird place. Can I wasp it? Okay, you can wasp it at least. E is user collect. P is second. Oh, flame on! Okay, got you. Sick. Oh, I'm not gonna make that. But this time I will. Ha ha ha. I gotta be careful. I have a really bad habit of jumping too early. Oh, he's whooping my ass. Wow. Damn. I just don't feel like my hitbox, my sword swing is not very far. Unfortunately. Oh man, they just bum rush you too. Okay, I got time this better or something. Okay, you can keep him at bay. You just can't move and hit him. These, these are hard to time. Your range is not far in this game. But it's definitely doable if you don't suck like I do. Yep. And momentum does not matter in this game, I don't think. As long as you're holding the right, you'll go as far as you're gonna go anyways. Yep, take those, face all that. I wonder if I can use these coins for upgrades or something, that'd be kind of sick, wouldn't it? Oh my god, that thing is cucking me in the ank my cankle. <laughs> I just kind of hang on the edge, that's kind of weird. Sick. Do do do! Oh, that gem is mine! The gem is mine, fuckers! Language, sorry, I'm trying to come back on that. There are so many things here. It's a good thing you don't die in this game, or I would have been so dead. Fuck this, they so just keep coming. Get the gym, get the gym. Oh fuck, fireballs, baby. I wonder if anybody can do- Oh, I do have a health. What the hell? I just got a lot of health, I guess. Oh, son of a fireball. Oh, baby. Oh my god, that thing's cucking me from the top. I'm getting cucked by everything. Stop it. Yes, the gym is mine. What? I have to hit the EQ. I just like fell right through that damn gym. The Master Emerald will be mine! Okay, god dang it dude. So I will say, the fact that you get hung up on the platforms and stuff seems kind of cool, but it's not. Take it! Can I not pick up the gym? Give me the fucking gym, dude. I've ran into it like a couple times now, but it won't let me pick it up. I might just leave it alone. This is craziness. This stupid thing's annoying. There we go, baby! I just lost like all my health trying to grab that thing. Level complete, sick. Oh, is that it? That's the whole game? Oh, well I did it. Okay, thoughts. Game's really short. I like the idea. Maybe a little bit longer range would be kind of sick. I like the music. Um... The getting stuck on platforms thing, like watch this. See if I can do it without dying. No, I can't. <laughs> it's kind of neat how much health you have, but it's it is a lot. But I guess if I didn't have it, I would have died there. But let me see what if I could show you what I'm talking about with the platforms real quick. This is such a short video. I'll probably have to play a different game. But I just kind of want to show the creator this if he's watching. You get out of my way, dude. Oh my god, these guys won't let me do it. Get off me. Ah, if I could do it. Like, you see how I kind of hang there? That's not... I wonder if I could just hang there forever. No. Yeah, like this. See, I can be... <laughs> if you do expand the game, this is something I'd look at because... Um, that could be kind of annoying when you're trying to like make a game run smooth it's not a huge thing but just wanted to point that out um 
That jump was like incredibly hard to grab for whatever reason. The E key while jumping, and for some reason you couldn't sit on it. I think it would have been easier to grab that platform that the gym was on was actually able to... Like you see how there's that dude on the platform? You can't sit on that platform for some reason, which is weird. But uh... Overall it's a decent game, like a decent start. It's not really a game yet, it's like a little tutorial demo thing, but... I like your pixels a lot, or your uh... Little pixel art, I like that. I like the fact you have a special move too that's actually useful, it's strong. And this sword range is like so short. <laughs> but it's cool. Um, good luck with your future progress in it. I really like the opening with the Master of Puppets and like bit version, that was sick. But yeah. Alright, guys, I'm gonna find a different game to play as well since this is so short. But thanks for watching, and hopefully, you'll be here for the second part of the video, I guess. See you soon. Alright guys, for our second game we have another short game which is called Night Hunt. It's like a short story, um, visual novel I guess. And it's about three friends who hunt a cryptid, which I've heard the term before, but I'm guessing it's a spider thing. I'm not sure. But spider things are terrifying, so we shall see. Okay, so which one is a night vision? This one. Ah, that does look like night vision. Turn that off, you're wasting battery. So, who's conspiring against you this time? I don't know for sure. It's, it's a conspiracy yet. We'll get to that. Two rows draws their attention to this, his conspiracy board. There are many myths surrounding these woods and about creatures and spirits who haunt them at night. There can't possibly be more than one. Shh, it's atmosphere. Two points to an artist's depiction of some kind of beast. However, there is one in particular that has caught my interest. It tells of a phantom made of the night sky. Quick save. It walks the earth, seeking, seeking to send souls back to the stars. And I believe it's living. Da da da. Right outside my house! Right outside your house? He slaps a local map on the wall emphatically. <laughs> emphatically. You see this map? You can fit so many bad uh, cryptids in this bad boy. Slaps the roof off the house. Right outside my house! Or slaps the roof off the map. <sighs> or... <gasps> I've seen it, and I'm going to catch it. Uh-huh. Well, maybe not catch it. Confront it, at least. Follow me. Creepy looking. Hugh rushes out the door and leads his friends into another side room of his basement. I've already set up the stationary cameras in the woods. Their feed is displayed on these monitors. Whoa. Neil, your job is to watch these while you're gone. While we're gone. And contact us on the walkie-talkie if you if you see anything. Dick. Why is it so dark in here? More atmosphere? The light bulb burnt out. Oh. Two hand star satchel containing a flashlight and a walkie-talkie. Star, you're my camera man, woman, camera woman, camera person. How did you afford all this? That's not important. What's important is our route. Route. I've marked it on a map in the front. Is it route? I'm saying route. It is route. Confirmed. In the front pocket of your bag, I also pack some trail mix. Star puts a bag on. Fine, but no running this time. I can't go sprinting through all these woods, these trees with one working eye. I'll smack into something. As long as you can get the evidence we need, that's a risk I'm willing to take. You're in a hurry. Of course I'm in a hurry. It's already been near my house. What if I, I don't know, spies on me? What if I'm in the shower? That is a terrifying thought. Exactly, we need to move. Look, I'm all for ga ghosts and aliens, but this one is a little... I don't know. I mean, I don't come out here in the middle of the night because I think we'll find anything. I come because you're my best friends, and I have fun doing this with you guys. But I know you believe in it. So as much as I want to support you, encouraging the idea that there's a creature stalking the woods outside your house, it doesn't seem healthy. <sighs> I don't think you need to worry so much, Star. 
You say that about everything. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Listen, you are going to convince Q not to go looking tonight. And Q, you are going to convince Star that the story is real. <sighs> you aren't, and you know it. So let's just go hunting like normal tonight. Either we find something and Q was right, or we don't and everyone can sleep easy. Besides, we're supposed to re finish our Season 2 rewatch of Future Eat Yesterday Tonight. What a name. Ugh, the anime is so, animation is so much worse than Season 1, though. You're right. I know, it's like they didn't even... Not you, Neil. I'll go. I probably shouldn't let you run through the forest at night unsupervised anyway. Good, come with me. Sick, we're going into the woods. Quick save. Or, actual save. Just in case. Who leads the way through the woods while Star films their surroundings. So, when did you see this thing? About a week and a half ago. Keep your voice down. What happened? I just looked out the window one night and caught a glimpse of something. Some kind of figure, I think. It was just standing there, then ran away when I saw it. You live next to a patch of woods. If you saw something, it was probably a wild animal. Shh! Did you hear that? No. There's a moment of silence while the two listen carefully. Star scans the woods around them with the camera. Hugh turns to look at the bush behind them, where a quiet rustling can be heard. Star approaches it slowly. A bird bursts out. Ah! Geek! Let's keep going. Okay. Click. Click. Oh, am I supposed to click around this room? Click dot 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 dot. Do you hear that? Get your bag out. Are you trying to scare me? I'm already scared. It's a walkie-talkie, genius. Can you hear me? Hello? We can now. What's up? I saw something move on camera three. It looked like some kind of animal, but I couldn't really see. Alright, let's go. Q takes off running. No, hey! How do you even know which way camera the is? Star is forced to chase after her friend. She immediately struggles to keep up without bumping into anything. Hurry, we'll miss it! I said no running, quit! He vanishes into the dark woods, his flashlight blinking between the many dark tree silhouettes as he gets further and further away. Star tries to speed up, but begins to stumble. Ew! Arg! Star finally trips and falls face first into a tree trunk. She sinks to her knees to recover. Star? Q looks around, not finding his friend. He turns his head desperately between the direction of the camera and the direction of her yell. Mm. Star, are you there? Here, I'm here. Q helps Star to her feet. Here, take the camcorder. I can't keep up. No, we're heading back. Look, it's fine. I'll just head back on my own. This is important to you. I'm coming with. You're more important. I'm sorry. I'll get over it. Hugh helps guide Star home, where they tell Neil what happened. After microwaving some food, the three cozy in to watch their favorite show. Hugh uses the time to scrub through the camera footage to look for evidence. What is this? Whoa! Bzzzt, bzzzt, bzzzt. Ah, the raccoon. <laughs> the end. What? Oh, well, damn! Well, damn! Well, that was a short game. Hi, right, guys. Thanks for watching. Or always. Uh, yeah, I did. I didn't find like a particularly like good like long game to play, so I just figured I'd play 
Um, two ones that seemed promising and that seemed like they could use some feed at back or play through. I like doing visual novels a lot because it's just reading and I don't have to stress out about sucking at the game too much, even though I do like challenging games, but it's a nice break every now and then. And uh, the other game, the guy was like, oh, I want feedback. So I figured I'd do that as well. And like the game looked promising. Plus when the Master of Puppets came on, that was really sick, the bit version. So he did really good with that. And it actually reminded me of the song, so I started listening to that as well. So that was cool. All right, thanks for watching as always, guys. Bye!